So today I'm going to be turning this website into a PDF using Puppeteer. So you can see the PDF right here, but let's get right into the code. So the first thing we want to do is to import Puppeteer and FS. Then we have an instantly instantiated function because we're working with asynchronous code. This is the URL. This could be any URL. So this line here defines just the basic properties of the browser. So it opens the Puppeteer browser and it says headless to true, which just means that you can't see the browser. By default, this is true. So you wouldn't even have to do this, but it can be uh, good for debugging that you can easily turn headless on and off. The next thing here is that we're loading that web page and then we're waiting until that load event is done. So until the website is loaded. Now this line here, it modifies the safe color. So what colors does the website get saved as when you view the PDF? Now, the next thing here is just if you want to save it as a buffer, if you await the page.pdf function, then you will actually get a buffer, which you can then save that buffer through something like FS, or you could even stream it using Express or any other library. So this is also neat if you want to maybe import a different library for modifying PDF files. Now, Puppeteer also have the capability of saving the PDF for you. So if you specify the path property, it will actually automatically save the PDF file. Now, the next couple of lines here is just a few of the properties which you can define within this object here. So there's the path property, but there's also a width and a height property. And you can see that they use uh, pixels, inches, centimeters, and millimeters. And this is how wide the image would be. Let's just quickly try to define this property here. So let's set it as something ridiculous like 100 and try to run it. Okay, so I just ran into a little bug here, but it's actually not a bug, but it's because I haven't wrote the entire code, but I was like, what's happening? Why is it not closing? So this is another important line here. If you don't close your browser, program actually won't close. So if we just quickly jump to that command and then we'll come back to this example here in just a second. Okay, so down here, you actually have to close the browser. Now, if you don't close the browser, it's going to keep running like this. And I thought that it was broken, but it actually wasn't. Because if we go ahead and check the PDF file here, you can see that it has a width of 100. Now, this isn't so useful in this case here, as it kind of destroyed the PDF. But if you want to have a certain width and height, you can uh, define that as well. Now, another one which I think is probably a little bit more useful here is the format. So if we go ahead and switch that property out with the format here, and let's say that we pick um, A0. So if you don't know, an A4 is a normal A4 paper, and an A0 is an even bigger paper. So it goes like in the reverse order. So if we run this and just close the other one, and now because we have added the close, the browser will actually close. So if we just refresh this here, you can see that it really looks pretty nice because it's viewing it like almost like 1080p, so like a full website. So you can actually see a full version of the website. So maybe if you were doing some archiving or something of a website and you wanted to save it to PDF files, A0 would be a good format to pick. But since it doesn't really break the website, it sort of looks just fine like a normal website. It's just in a PDF. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.